Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, this video is going to be tangentially related to uh, survival and my channel. Um, I guess I can review other things besides knives, like maybe I'll do backpacks, hats, shoes, and uh, funny gloved uh, things for your feet. These are the um, Vibram or Vibram, I'm not sure how you say that, uh, five fingers is what they're called. And this particular model is called the um, we call this the Bikila, I guess. Uh, and you can sort of see what the sole looks like. They give you this like little information packet or whatever with it. But I, I picked these up a couple days ago. Um, I got an amazing deal on them actually, about 40 bucks. Uh, so I was pretty happy about that. It's something I've been thinking about trying lately and I just decided to give it a whirl. I'm, I'm happy that I did, but it's far too early for me to draw like any real conclusions about like whether these long term are gonna be good for my feet or not. But uh, let me just say a few like initial impressions I have about them. Um, so number one, like they're pretty hard to put on. Like that's the first thing. I would say it, give, it takes you a good minute per foot sort of thing to settle into them. Uh, you're supposed to start with your big toe and then kind of like wiggle all your toes into them or whatever. And you know, uh, it, it's a bit of a chore uh, to say the least. But once they're on, you kind of don't want to take them off. Um, and you almost feel like you're not even wearing shoes. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I guess the theory behind them is that, you know, uh, for, you know, millions of years or, you know, hundreds of thousands of years or whatever, uh, like humans, uh, didn't wear any shoes. And then, you know, we just have started doing that in modern times and, you know, it's truly healthier for our bodies to walk barefoot, you know, however, um, the soles of our feet are nice and soft and, you know, it's not really practical these days. So I guess this is like kind of a compromise. I talked to a few people before I bought them got some glowing reviews you know everybody sort of said take uh, take it slow like just wear them for maybe an hour a day then two hours and, and so on and so forth just kind of build yourself up to it and I've worn them all day today and I gotta say I'm getting pretty uh, ready to take them off just like anybody does with any pair of shoes uh, so I think I might kind of go easy on it from now on um, yeah so what else um, when you wear these out in public um, this is my first full day wearing them and I'm very fortunate that I can work in a place where even though people think it's kind of funny, nobody really cares. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, you, you do get looks from people. I got two people today, aside from my immediate colleagues. Like when I was out and about, two people, or three or four, I don't even know how many now, they all asked me about the shoes. They're just like, are they comfortable? Like people have seen them around. They're kind of curious about them and, you know, just like I was, right? Uh, so I, I basically told them the same thing I'm telling you guys. Um, if you're interested, give them a try, you know? Um, I've asked a few people like if they know who Cody Lundin is. Um, you know, without Cody, um, I never would have tried these shoes. Uh, not that he's like a spokesman for the company or anything. Uh, it would actually be kind of interesting if he was. But, uh, you know, if you don't know who Cody Lundin is, uh, check out Dual Survival or his uh, very good books, 98.6, The Art of Keeping Your Ass Alive, and what's the other one? Uh, when All Hell Breaks Loose, I think. Um, yeah. So those are, Cody's one of my heroes, you know, without a doubt, a uh, huge survival influence. I'll probably talk more about that in a later video, but um, yeah, without Cody, I never would have tried this. Um, you know, I've tried going barefoot a few times when I've been out camping and it's just painful. Uh, so I think this might be kind of approaching that, but I'll just like kind of try to flip them over, let you see what the sole of them looks like. I'm doing this very well. Um, they make all these different models that are good for different things. Uh, I was led to believe that this was sort of an all around model, which is good. I'm not a runner or anything like that. It's basically just for, you know, maybe a little bit on the trail, in the city, whatever, just an all-around thing. So, uh, so far, so good. I guess I'll, if anything changes, I'll do an update video. But, uh, yeah, uh, if you're on the fence, if, if you don't, if you can get over how stupid they look, uh, uh, you know, give it a try and maybe you'll be pleasantly surprised. Thanks for watching.